Excellent. Two more example questions which deal with dividing with fractions, okay? And I've shown you in the previous video how to do it, okay? And after this video, I have one more video with more example questions for you. What did we notice in the previous video? That when you're dividing with fractions, you want to do the multiplication of the reciprocal. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Five as a fraction is five over one. Do you agree? So, instead of dividing 3 over 4 by 5, I'll do 3 over 4 times the reciprocal 5 over 1. So, I'm just turning it around 1 over 5, yeah? So, I'm turning the divisor around. Yeah? The 3 over 4 stays 3 over 4. And that equals, and now that is relatively easy, because we realize that when you're multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerator with each other and the denominator with each other. 3, 4 times 5 is 20. 3 over 20, can that be simplified? Is there a common factor? No, there isn't. 3 is a prime. 20 cannot be divided by 3, so that's it. 7 over 8 divided by 3. Yeah, 3 is 3 over 1. I realize that. A whole number as a fraction is 3 over 1, or that number over 1. So this actually is the same as 7 over 8 times 1 over 3, and that equals 7 over 24 and again that cannot be <coughs> further simplified excuse me now i also showed you in the previous video and i just want to show you once more seven over eight divided by three i just want to give you one more method especially when you're dividing by a whole number seven over eight divided by three that is the same and i'm going to find an equivalent fraction now um, for instance uh, which i can divide by three so 24, 21. Do we see what I've just done? Yeah, I found an equivalent fraction. I multiply that by 3 is 24, 7 times 3. Yeah, so 7 over 8 is equivalent, is equal to 21 over 24. Still got to divide it by 3. So I have 21 of those little pals. Yeah, 21, 1 over 24 little pals. If you understand what I'm trying to say? So how much does everybody get? Well, everyone is going to get then 7 of those eh, divided by 3, so 7 over 24. And that indeed is the same answer I got just a second ago, by instead of dividing it, by multiplying it by the reciprocal, eh, turning that fraction around. So 3, 3 over 1 becomes 1 over 3. One more video for you. See you there.